have stood a mighty bastion of evil was now but a mere shadow of its former self. Christopher Belmont had single-handedly done what his ancestors could not by defeating Dracula alone. As it has been foretold, Dracula had risen from his earthly grave at the turn of the century. And also, as it was written, a Belmont was ready for his imminent return. On this day, Christopher, like his ancestors, has cemented his place in history as mankind's hero. Some time after Christopher's victory, he found himself with a wife and child, a son whom he named of Latin origin Soleil, or son. Fitting, he thought, as his son would be as a beacon of light to vanquish the horrible night. Fifteen years later, a ceremony fit for a king was held. In honor of Soleil's coming of age, his rite of passage to his lineage, as he was now ready to begin his training as the next heir in the long line of vampire killers. The townspeople rejoiced. It was a time filled with joy and celebration. The townsfolk felt as though that finally, true peace was a certainty with having both Christopher and Soleil as their protectors. But Dracula's curse has power. And that power is something that is not so easily defeated with will and brute force alone. On the night of the ceremony, Christopher's wife Ileana succumbs to a long and private battle with a fatal sickness that unfortunately has claimed her life. Ileana made Christopher promise not to mention her illness to their son as she feared it would sway him from fulfilling his destiny as the successor of fate. On a day that was meant for hope and prosperity, only sorrow and despair remained. Late that night, Soleil lay restless in his bed. Mourning the loss of his mother, his mind wondered endlessly for answers. Why didn't she tell me? Why was this hidden from me? He was ridden with sadness. As he lie in bed, he hears whispers in the wind, whispers that sound of his mother. They call to him as he gazes with confusion from his window. Could it be? She's not gone? He carefully slips outside of his bedroom window in search of the voice that is calling to him. What he doesn't realize is that he is about to come face to face with a darkness that will consume him completely. 